this was my experience of Blender when I first started learning it. Yeah, place a camera in view. With Shift A, camera, place a camera up. You kind of aim it at your model where you think it's going to be. Then you look at the camera view and it's not there. And you, you change your camera view again. Try tilting it up. Still can't see your target. So to keep tilting, looking, still not there. So try moving it back. Tilt it again. Try moving it left and right. No luck, still not there. Just so frustrating. Right, let's delete that camera because there is an easier way, as I found out eventually. Hold down shift and right click the mouse button to place your 3D cursor. Shift in A and add a camera to the view. Now, if to select the views objects, let's so press N and look at view, then lock to camera view. Click that one there. Now if you place it in camera view now, and now you can move the camera with the mouse and holding down shift to pan, and you can get your object into view. Spin it around, it's reverse by zoom back a bit, and place it into view. And there we are, it's so much easier. Right, next up we're going to learn how to switch between two different cameras. So I've set them up in the view, as you can see on the top corner, two different cameras up there. And that's the view of camera one. Click on that one, and that's the view of camera two. So with the timeline set to zero, we'll go to Marcus. and add marker so we need to select the camera which we want to go on that marker this is our first camera and that's the markers and bind camera to marker and let's move to timeline along to about 50 and markers add marker and select the second camera at the markers and bind camera to marker. Right, we place it now into the camera view. Press play. Ship switching from camera one to camera two. We move it back. So if you have camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Right, so now what we're going to do is animate the movement of camera one. So we click on camera one and insert a keyframe on location and rotation. And we've got the keyframe on, on time on zero. Move it along a, a little bit and we'll adjust the camera. Move it around and then we'll press I and insert a keyframe. And you can see its animation, the movement of that camera. Let's move on a time like a bit more and move the camera around. And I should do it. And then I to insert the keyframe, move it along just a bit more just before it gets to the second camera marker. Move the camera just over a little bit, 
in the same press I insert the keyframe and you will see the camera animate camera one of its movement between the keyframes to the camera too. Right, here's an example of a little film I made. Uh, Cockadoodle with Mr. Cockroach on it. it. Uses three cameras. As you can see on there, we have one behind, a side view, and a front view. So we're moving on the timeline now just to see the movement of the cameras during this scene. You can see this side camera is animated to move along as we go. And onto the third camera, which follows a moraine with an animation as well. You can actually use a tracking camera, but we'll go on to that uh, in a different video. Now we've switched to camera view and go through the same process. You can watch it switch between each camera. So we're heading onto the second camera, onto the third, onto the end of the scene. Okay, so there you have it. There's some camera tips for beginners in Blender and I hope that will be of some use to you. So thank you for watching and uh, remember you can watch a full video of Cockadoodledoo at my channel Cliffco Graphics and don't forget to like and subscribe.